Welcome back to our video module on mechanics of materials. I'd like to spend this video quickly doing a sample problem to see how simple this really is. We're going to apply some sort of load to this beam. And we'll say that this beam has an area of 500. So maybe it's a circle, maybe it's a square. In this case, it really doesn't matter. We'll say that it has a Young's modulus of 70 gigapascals. The load that we're applying is going to be 20 kilonewtons and the length 700 millimeters. What is the deformation going to be for this problem? The first thing we're always going to do is draw ourselves a free body diagram. Here's our bar. The bottom, we know what's happening. There's going to be some applied force and we know that to be 20 kilonewtons. And in addition, we're going to have some sort of reaction force. Because everything's static, we'll know it stays there, and we have a reaction force of 20 kilonewtons. A simple enough setup. We've seen this before in just high school physics. It looks just like a spring problem. We just have a slightly different equation. Let's just be careful as we plug in the numbers to make sure we get our units right. So 20 kilonewtons is 20 times 10 to the third newtons. The length is simply 700 millimeters, which is 0 0.7 meters. We divide by the Young's modulus, 70 gigapascals, which is 70 times 10 to the ninth pascals. The area being 500 square millimeters, it's going to be 500 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared we find a deformation of 0 0.004 meters equals 0.4 millimeters. In summary, we always start off with our free body diagram, identify the forces, and from there we can identify the deformation. Join us in our next module as we start throwing curveballs at these setups.